Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. This is Shijams. Um, I welcome you all once more to anyone can trade with BitFXT. Um, just a quick check. If you can hear me, please type I can hear you on the chat box so I would be sure that um, you guys can hear me. So if you can hear me, I would want you to type I can hear you. I can hear you on the chat box so that uh, we can kick off with this particular training. <clears throat> All right, so can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me, please? All right, okay, okay. Um, Adebowale says you can hear me loud and clear, cool. All right, so um, good afternoon, everybody. You're welcome to Street Jams. Um, I welcome you all to another section of Anyone Can Trade. It's been an amazing section over and over and over and over again. So today, we are going to be talking about Tat Coin, right? Um, we, we recently removed the uh, atomic swap on on that coin on our exchange so we've had a lot of people ask about um, how they can trade that coin and you know stops like that so today um, we're having one of our own our business manager mr david f young aka david zoe he's going to come up to teach us on how to trade um that coin i just tried to contact him right now uh, he is is on the way um He's on the way for it, and then it's going to be amazing. Um, so just give me, uh, let's see, five minutes. I'm going to give five minutes so that we can share. Okay, I'm going to send a link to this particular training on on the Zoom call so that you can share to your friends and to your colleagues, and then we'll be able to, uh, sorry about that, sorry about that. Um, okay, so we'll be able to, um, share the link to across to other people and then get uh, more engagement you know share links to your friends and to your colleagues um, let me just quickly get the link right now all right um this is the link this is the link to the zoom meeting open it right now all right all right so if you can see the link please let me know that you can see the link i shared it three times on the zoom call so that it's easy for everyone to assess and then um follow through if you can see the link on the zoom call please let me know let me know if you can see it can can you see the link can you see the link please reply on the on the chat box please reply respond on the chat box okay alex is is saying yeah i can see that yeah cool all right please in the next five minutes share the link to your to your colleagues share to your friends tell them that we are doing a, a, a webinar bitfx webinar on that coin let's get uh, more people engaged into this particular um training okay let's get more people engaged as we await our our speaker for today okay all right, so in the next five minutes, this is already, um, this is 4.12 by 4.17, we'll kick off immediately, okay?
All right, all right. Um, welcome back, everybody. Um, it's been an amazing time. Okay, so um, we're going to be starting up any moment from now. I just contacted our speaker for today, and um, I think he's going to be unavoidably absent. So I'm going to be taking up um, the training. I'm going to be taking up the training. So uh, um, um, just uh, bear with me um, due to the technical issues he's having. All right, so quickly, a quick one. I'm going to do a quick one right now. So let me just log into my account on BitFX. Can you guys see my screen? Please, if you can see my screen, um, I would want you to type, I can see. All right, um, I want to know you are seeing my screen while I do my, um, while I, I, I go forward with the training. Can you see my screen? Um, Guys, can you see my screen, please? All right, all right, Mr. Alex is is seeing the screen all right okay so um i'm trying to sign in to my account so i, I can uh, show you guys how to do this uh my 2fa code okay yeah no all right so i just logged into my account right now um okay so um now now before now before now you we were able to see um how that oh sorry about this how that um there was on top of here there was an atomic swap for any cryptocurrency right yeah there used to be an atomic swap for cryptocurrencies but recently it was removed right it was removed uh, and then we added um we now allow people to just trade. So the atomic swap was now added to the boundless pay platform. Since um, BitFX exchange is an exchange um, at that matter, we, we wanted um, to have um, um, different functionalities for different um, of our platforms. So what we did was that we added the atomic swap on um, boundless pay. So once boundless pay is out, you would be able to do atomic swap on the boundless pay platform. Okay. Meanwhile, um, um, we are able to, we are still able to trade cryptocurrencies and, and, and every other thing on the exchange. So I'm going to be showing you guys um, how to trade as, as simple as possible, um, how to use um, the exchange. So right now I'm going to be clicking on trade. Okay, so I'll click on trade. Um, I think I'm having my, yeah. So I'll click on trade. Uh, most of us are conversant with this particular um, um, trading, uh, what would I call it right now, um, ecosystem, right? Yeah, 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 conversant with this. If, if, you, if you know how this works, please um, type I know. If you don't, type I don't, so I would know how to explain this. Um, this is a, a very interactive section. I would want us to communicate. So as I'm talking, you're responding so that we can um, can have a flow. I would want us to go as I speak, as I talk, um, let there be a flow so that I, I won't miss you on the way and then you won't miss me on the way too. So if, if you understand this particular, um, um, on the platform on my screen, please type I understand. Um, type I understand, but well, if you don't type I don't understand. Okay, so I would I would know um, if I'm to continue with going straight to that coin, or I should just give a little explanation of what, what what's going on here. Um, guys, are, are you with me? Um, okay, okay, <laughs> amazing. <clears throat> All right, now as you can see here, this is um, BTC NGN. This is BTC NGN. Okay, um, Babel is saying I don't understand. Um, okay, so I, I, I'm gonna do a quick one. I'm gonna do a book. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I'm gonna do a quick one. I'm gonna explain what is on the screen right here. All right, so this is what we call a, a, a price chart. I think it's the Heiku price chart. Okay, Babel, are you with me? Yes, um, Alex is asking if it's recorded. Um, I think, yeah, it's on record. So I'm going to post it on the BitFS Telegram Nigerian group chat, of course. Yeah. 
So it's recorded. Um, meanwhile, as I was saying, Bibu, please um, view me so I, you can understand what I'm talking about. Now, this is um, price chart. It shows the relationship between price and time. Okay, so it's like a, a simple graph that's plotted in what we call candlesticks that shows the the movement of price per time. Okay, so as you can see here, this particular place that is the green candle is showing us what the price of, of BTC in relation to Nigerian Naira at this particular time. So as you can see here, this one Bitcoin right now is 5,142,107 Naira. Do you understand that? Okay, sorry about that. Um, I think I'm just going to continue right now. I think um, you guys can follow up, all right? So this is a price chart. This is um, um, the table for buy and sell orders, right? Here, you go have a trade history showing um, the amount that has been bought and sold at a particular time and a particular date, right? So as you can see here, this is the first um, August 2020. This is the amount that was um, sold, and this is this is the trade history, right? Now, now um, if you scroll down, if you scroll down the page, you see where you can sell your Bitcoin and where you can buy your Bitcoin using Naira. Now, this is not what we're going to talk about here today. We want to talk about Tatcoin. So, on the top left, beside the BitFST logo, you see um, the place where I have BTC NGN, right? You see where I have um, BTC NGN. So you'll be able to change. It means that this is, you are trading Bitcoin against an error. But right now, I want to trade that coin. Um, so I would go and choose. I would choose um, CAT BTC, right? Now that's that coin. TAT is the ticker for that coin, right? No, 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 no. Um, there are actually three pairs. There is the BPY, there is NGN, there is um, BTC. Now, this is if you are trading that coin against Bitcoin. This is where you trade, right? Uh, okay, let me let me verify your claim. Um, Adebowale, let me verify your claim. Let me just show you quickly. Um, as you can see here, as you can see here, there is only BTC, BPY, DGB, BPY, and NIM, BPY, right? So there is no TAT, BPY pair, right? Now let's go back to the NGN pair. This is where you have the TAT NGN. Right, right now, I already have Naira. Yes, it was there. That's what I was telling you. It was removed and added to um, the boundless pay platform. Mr. Nemeka, do you understand? Hello? All right, all right. So um, I, I, I hope we're all being cleared. We've all been cleared. So now, now it's so. How does one assess it? Um, let me let me send the link right now. Let me send the link to. Um, okay, well, let's see. Yeah, I just sent you the link to assess it right now. Um, it's coming up as, as soon as possible. All 
All right. So um, that's that for that. But now I, I let's say I want to buy. Um, okay, let me quickly use uh, TATNGN since I already have some naira on my on my. Um, okay, yeah, I have some Ethereum. I have like seven hundred naira Ethereum. So um, okay, yeah. Now let's say I want to buy that coin, right? I want to buy that coin with my Ethereum, right? I have 0 0.00493440 Ethereum. As simple as that is, um, the amount at this moment is 0 0.00009800 Ethereum for one that coin, right? As 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 this is, this is actually the price differences, right? I'll just quickly go down to buy that. Right now, I have um, I have some amount of, of Ethereum in my wallet. I can decide to buy with 25% of my money, right? If I click on 25, now as you can see, I can I'll be able to buy 14.69 that coin. Are you guys with me? Can you hear me? Please, uh, if you can hear me, type on the chat box. Um, I hear. Yeah, let me just follow through the chat box. All right, cool. So let me just quickly shift this. All right, now. As simple as this is, if I want to buy with 50% of the money on my wallet, I just click on 50%, you'll find out that the money actually um, doubles, right? So I'll be able to buy 29.29 that coin, right? Uh, let's let's say um, I want to buy with 75%, or I can decide the amount of that coin I want to buy. Let's say I want to buy 50 that, right? If I want to buy 50 that, this is the amount of Ethereum it will, it will cost me. Now, this is how this is why BitFX is better than most other exchanges. As you can see here, the fee for a transaction is 0.25%. Normally on other trans under other exchanges is, is 1% or sometimes um, 0.5%. But our fee is, is extremely less. So I'll just click on buy. And immediately, I have that, right? As simple as that is, I, I now have that coin. So guys, um, I think you should just try it out. Um, just log into your VTFX exchange account, try to buy that, and then give me feedback. Give me feedback, let me, let me hear from you. So this is how easy it is. Now, if I want to sell that again, I can just come here. Let's say I want to present of me, that's what I I click on sell. And my order will be placed, right? Was the order placed? Sorry, I click on sell. Order will be placed. And then my Ethereum comes back to me, and I have 25 um, that here, right here. Okay, someone is asking the question. Uh, please ask. Okay, so um, I want to explain um, buy order, right? Now, by definition, a limit order is an order to buy or sell a cryptocurrency at a specific price, right? Now, for instance, a buy limit order can only be executed at a price lower than the market price. Let me explain. You know how that at as on your screen, you are seeing, um, you are seeing that one that is um, 0.0000 right? Now, if you want to set a buy limit order, you want to set a buy limit order, it has to be less than 0 0.00001800. Do you understand this? So you have to set a buy order at, let's say, 0 0.0001790, 1760, 17, you know, 1615, and, and the rest of them. Do you understand? Please, if you understand me, I want you to type, I understand, on the chat box. So I'll go over to the next answer for this particular question. Because there are, there are like, I, like, I think, like three different and three answers. All right, all right, cool. Now, the next is sell limit order, right? Now, a sell limit order can only be executed at a price above the limit price or at the limit price. So, for instance, let's say we want to sell that right now. Now, look at what is here. Uh, best sell, the best sell here is. Um, 4,000, right? 0 0.00004,000, right? Now, that means that if you want to sell, if you want to sell 
um, tax, it has to be higher than this particular amount, right? So let's say I want to sell tax now. I'll put at 4,100, 5,000, 6,000, and the rest of them. Do you understand? Please, if you understand, um, um, type I understand. So, because there is another question here. Someone said, how long does it take a buy limit order to be executed? All right, let me explain it this way. You know how that when you go into a market, um, let's say you want to buy a pair of shoes, right? I, I always use this analogy when I'm explaining buy limit and stuff like that. Now, when you're, when you're trying to buy a pair of shoes, then you go to um, a particular shop and then the owner of the shop says, for this pair of shoes, I'm going to sell it for 5,000 naira, right? And then you're like, ah, 5,000 naira, isn't it too much? Can't you sell it to me for uh, 4,500? Now, what is happening is that you are negotiating with the seller for a particular price, right? Now, the person can decide to accept what, you can decide to accept um, the person's 5,000 naira, or the person might decide to accept your 4,500 naira, or you guys can come to a compromise. Let's say you come to a compromise and then um, you, you sell, you buy it at 4,800 naira. Now let me bring this back. When you set a buy limit order, you are saying that you want to buy a particular cryptocurrency at a price lesser than um, the normal price. What happens is that when someone else comes to the exchange, which is the market, to to sell, you know, to oh. someone said he's not hearing audio. Please, guys, can you hear me? If you can hear me, please type I hear. All right. So, Mr. Chinedo, I think you have to you have to um, connect your audio. Um, so if you help me type type to him to connect his audio so he can hear us, right? Okay. So as I was saying, but I was interrupted. When you set your buy order to price lesser than the amount in the marketplace, and someone comes to sell, now it's left for the person to decide to accept. Oh my God, he's not hearing. He's still not hearing. Um, I think please connect your audio. Please, someone should let me put him through on how to connect audio so it won't um, affect uh, meeting, right? Now, as I said, it's left for the person that wants to sell to accept to sell at the price that you've set already. Or the person would go ahead and set his own price, you know? So, um, asking about how long it takes for your buy order to be filled, it's actually dependent on the number of people in the particular market. For instance, let's say um, 200,000 people are in a particular market at a particular time, right? The, the, um, the, the probability of it, the, the, the speed at which your buy order will be, will be peaked is higher than when there are 20 people in that particular market. Do you understand? So, and the same goes for sell order. So if you put a sell limit order higher than the normal price, it takes, it depends on the number of people trooping into the market at that particular time and the amount at which other sellers fix their prices, okay? That is what will determine the, the speed or, or the fastness at which your own order will be picked. Do you understand? Um, please, if you understand, I would like, I would love you to. Uh, all right, all right, all right, cool. Um, Junix is asking, what if the signals hit your order? Why can't it be executed? Um, if I understand you, you're asking, what if a trading signal hits your order, right? Okay, uh, welcome, Mr. Chinidu. Um, we all have our first time. We all have our first time, and it's always very hard for us. Well, thank God that you are, you are here with us right now. Now, as I was trying to explain to Junix, I'm saying that is he or she's asking if um, the signal hits your order, 
right? Let, let's say you put up a, a buy order or a sell order, and then the signal hits your order. Now, this is what happens. Let me explain the whole concept of, of trading signals. Now, we all know about um, um, technical analysis, right? Where we, where we, where we predict um, the outcome of a particular market depending on, on several factors. Now, a trading signal is actually a prediction of people's behavior towards a particular cryptocurrency. So let's say, for instance, I have this feeling or from my analysis, I think that within the next three, four months, a whole lot of people are going to come in to buy that coin, right? Let's say um, a, a troop of people will come in to buy that coin. And then I, I go to my community of trade and I tell them, <coughs> sorry guys, <coughs> I tell them, okay, guys, just buy that coin, right? Buy that coin and then um, keep it for the next three months, all right? And then put up a sell order at this particular amount. I'm thinking from my analysis that it will hit that particular amount. What happens is just what I just explained. Within that time, right, within that time that your analysis is, if enough people, right, come into that particular um, cryptocurrency to buy, and then with the influx of people into the market of course demands um an increase in demand would always bring for an uh, a a proportional increase in supply and price of course so when people when more people come into it and then the price starts increasing why you see that a price is increasing is something like this let me explain it um traditionally let's say i buy um a a container of um socks socks right children's stockings and then i i'm selling them today i sold it at five naira because i had only 20 people that came to buy from me tomorrow i found out that ah i am having like 50 people that are buying from me i decide to increase the amount the price i'm selling it to like let's say eight naira tomorrow i found out that ah 1000 people are coming to buy you i increase it to 10 naira right and then next tomorrow i find out that ah I'm getting like 10,000 people that are buying this stuff. I'll say, okay, so my price now is 12 naira. That is exactly what happens when a price is increasing in value. More people are coming to buy it. People that already have it are trying to sell it at a higher rate so that they can make profit from the amount that they bought it. Do you understand this? Now, what, the, what this shows is that um, as it increases in value, you have already set it to sell at a particular rate, right? Once the demand reaches that particular rate, someone will just buy from you. You know that this is smart contract. It's already programmed. Your coin is already on the list to be taken, right? So once your order, when your order is hit, what actually happens is that someone bought it, all right? So someone will definitely buy from you and then in return, give you the cryptocurrency, the base currency. So let's say you are trading crypto um, TAT against Ethereum, right? And you set your order. When, when someone buys the TAT from you, the person is giving you Ethereum in return. Do you understand? So whenever your order is, your, your signal hits, your, your trade signal hits, your order is actually executed. Just that you get another cryptocurrency in return of that value. Do you understand? Please, if you understand, I want to type I understand so I would know I am communicating with. All right, that's amazing. Okay, so do we have any other question? I think um, I'm going to answer some questions right now because um, if, you have a, if you have a question, please just raise your hand. Raise your hand so I can see you. Um, Uzo Onyepore is raising his hand. Um, I'm going to unmute you right now. Please make sure your background is not noisy so I can hear you clearly. All right. So I just asked you to unmute right now. Um, Uzo, please unmute. After Uzo, um, Rachel should get ready, okay? So. Okay, good evening, Chijams. You're welcome, um, My question goes like this. Um, how do people read? Like now, if I have one million Naira deposit on my BitFXA account, now I see the market value to be eight Naira. Then I now place eight naira against my one million naira deposit, which means I am going to buy one million naira worth of that coins at the rate of eight naira per that coin. 
Now, maybe in the next 10 minutes, the market value changes to 10 naira. What is going to happen to that 1 million naira? Is it that the amount, maybe the person who placed sell order at 8 naira, maybe he has 2,000 tat coins. Uh, is my system going to automatically buy the worth of 2,000 naira? Then when it goes to 10 naira, it will stop. Then when it still comes back to 8 naira again, it will go and buy. Please, sir, tell me on that. Okay, okay, yeah. If I got it correctly, um, what you are asking is this. Let's say, for instance, you, um, you, you have that coin at this particular moment. You bought it at um, a lower amount than 8 naira, right? And then, okay, okay, yeah, I, I saw your, your question on the chat box there. Yeah. Let me just use that to explain it. But why is my mouth leaving? All right, so, you say you make it, you made a buy order at six naira. Um, no, okay, no, that's not your question. Your question says, if I have that coin, 1,000, 1 million naira worth of that coin right now, hmm? and I place a sell order at eight naira, right? And then I now find no, out no, no. that, no, what I said is a buy order. I have one million naira as the naira, as the naira deposit in my wallet. Okay. Then I now create a buy order okay. of one million naira at the rate of eight naira per third okay. coin. Okay. Now maybe the same order that has eight naira is two thousand pieces of that coin. Okay. Then maybe the system automatically buys that uh, two thousand uh, worth, uh, two thousand pieces of that. Okay. Uh, your line is breaking. Your line is breaking. Now, if the okay. market to ten naira is my buy order. But secondly, if I put that same woman, there is another two hundred thousand naira to buy that coin at the same rate of eight naira, and we happen to see somebody who has a sell order of that coin of two thousand. Is me that has that place the buy order of one million and the person that uh, placed the buy order of two hundred thousand? Are we going to share the task coin equally, or the system is going to automatically credit the person who first of all set a buy order at eight naira? Yes, yes. The system is going to uh, first off. Okay, let me answer your first question. The ten naira own. Now, when you buy, if you if you have already bought at eight naira and it becomes ten naira, right? You are yes. going to have a profit a profit in value of two naira for all the one that coin each for one million so that means that in in that particular trade that you bought eight naira and it's selling for two, uh, two naira you have made 20 percent so you have now you have 1.2 million naira worth of that coin in your wallet okay guys um before i answer your second question while we are talking our uh, Facilitator just came in, Mr. David Zoe, and he's going to he's going to be answering some other questions. Please help me and welcome him on the chat box. Please type welcome, Mr. David Zoe. Um, let me answer your second question, Mr. Uzo. Your second question was this: If you have one million naira and then you set a buy order for that coin, and someone else that has two hundred thousand naira set a buy order for that coin, and the person set the buy order before you, but the only sell order available is just for two hundred k. Are you going to share the task coin between both of you? Is the system going to share the task coin between both of you? Or is it going to award it to the person that said the buy order first? The answer is that the system will set, give it to the person that said the buy order first. Okay? So it works automatically. It's just like this. I put up a buy order, the person to grab it, takes it all. You understand? If, let's say, for instance, I set a sell order of 300,000 task coins, right? And then... This person that I sent a buy order, I sent a buy order for two hundred thousand. When you when you set your own buy order, what will happen is the person that sent buy order for two hundred k will collect two hundred k off the three hundred k, right? And then you that sent for one million, the system will automatically give you the hundred k, waiting waiting for another person that will set an order of nine hundred k or more, sorry or less. Do you understand? So if another person comes up and sets on, on, on a, buy, a sell order of 100k that coin at that same amount that you set your buy buy order, you will collect it. Another person come and sell 50, 50k, you will collect it. Another person come and sell 20k, you will collect it until your one million naira order is filled. Do you understand? Hello, sir. Do you understand me? 
Hello? Are, are you with me? Okay, guys. So right now, I'm going to be uh, making uh, Mr. David. I'm going to meet him right now so that he can answer um, some of the other questions that we have. Uh, we have question from Rachel. Rachel, um, I would want you to unmute yourself right now so that you can answer, um, so you can ask your question, okay? Yes, sir. Okay, hello. I understand, I understand. Yeah, perfect. I, I know you understand. Rachel, you got your question. All right. Um, my question is this. In the case where you sell your tax coin, probably after the sell order and it has been executed already, and you get to sell your tax coin, is it going to the Naira wallet that you have? And, uh, my, uh, second question, and my second question is this. In case where you don't want to sell your tax coin, probably you don't want to place an order, you just want to convert into your Naira purpose is it possible okay so if i got your question you are asking if, if you want to sell that coin right now you sell it what do you get in return right that's number one question do you get naira or do you get ethereum or do you get btc or do you get um um, is, that, is, is that your question? Okay. Am I correct? Hello? Hello, Rachel, are you with me? Rachel, are you with me? I think you're having a little bit of network disconnectivity. I said... Are you with me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now, yeah, clearly. Hello, can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you clearly right now. I can hear you, I can hear you clearly. Hello, Rachel, are you with us? Hello? Hello, Rachel, are you with me? I think she's having network disconnectivity. Please, guys, if you can hear me, like if you can hear me, type I hear, I hear. So I'll know it's not my network that is the issue. Type I hear, please. Uh, okay, okay. Um, Mr. David Zoe, all right, um, Richard, let me quickly unmute you right now. Uh, All right, you are free to speak. You are free to speak. Hello, Rachel, are you with us? Okay, guys, um, while we wait for Rachel, if you have any other question, our time is already fast spent. If you have any other question, please type your questions on the chat box, right? Mr. Deviso would answer all the questions that we have for this evening section, right? So if you have a question, um, type your question on the chat box. Type your question on the chat box, guys. Um, please, please type your question on the chat box. So we won't have network disconnectivity. Hello, Rachel. Hello. You're free to speak right now. Yeah, yeah, you are good to go. Yes, I'm back. I my question was that if if um I want to sell. Okay, now let's assume that I don't want to um place an order either to. Sell sell my tax coin but i wish to withdraw the tax coin that i have in my wallet into the naira wallet is it possible that way oh uh, okay it's not possible that way Just like you have gary possible yeah there are process which you are wishing to take for example we have different pairs we have uh, Bitcoin tax coin pay, we have Ethereum tax coin pay, we have Naira Gary of Cassava, which we have Fufu pay, Gary Fair pay, and the rest, Jack Cassava. So, if you want Gary, there are process to make the Cassava to become Gary, you want Fufu, same thing. So, you cannot have Cassava and want to withdraw Fufu, you need it. Not... 
if you want to withdraw your cassava back to your home or you want to withdraw I mean your tax going back to another wallet maybe to habit habit farm or uh, 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 or any Ethereum based wallet. So if you want to withdraw Naira, you need to sell the tax coin to Naira, convert it by placing an order. That is the only way you can withdraw Naira via tax coin. You only you can only get what you have. Okay. Okay, Rachel, did you understand that? No, the network is terrible. No, we can hear you, we can hear you. All right, all right, guys, Um, that's um, that for that. If you have any other question, we're going to take like one more question right now. Um, if you have a question, please um, ask questions on the chat box. All right, or you can if you can raise your hand, you can raise your hand, okay? No, that's actually not what she's asking, Mr. Nemeka. She's asking if you can withdraw that coin to your Naira wallet. And I think Mr. Diviso did a very good, um, give her a, a very good answer right now, okay? Because um, quick buy and sell actually, actually been disabled, right? Yeah, well, that's, that's, um, okay, all right, cool. Um, any other question, guys, before we close? Before we close, we are closing any moment from now. This is um, 4.54. We're going to be closing this section by uh, 5 p.m. So, um, um, Olua Dame Lare Adebowale is asking, says he has a question. Um, could, you, could you type your question on the chat box? Is it possible for you to type on the chat box? Or you want to speak? Okay, you're typing that yeah, perfect all right let's wait for that um guys if you if any other person um um have another question please please type your question down on um on the chat box all right so that we'll be able to um okay uh mr deviso are you with us here someone is asking if it is safe to stay to say that that a candlestick hitting a price lower than a buy limit order doesn't mean the order will be executed. Um, someone is asking what's the dollar rate. Okay, if you go to, um, let me quickly answer the dollar rate phone. Let me show you why Mr. Debizo can answer the other one. So, are you here with us? Yeah, he's here. Cool. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with, I'm with you guys. Yeah, I'm with you guys. Right. Okay, he said. Is it safe to say that the candlestick eating a price lower than the buy limit order doesn't mean the order will be executed? Uh, depending on how fast the dump is, that means if you, let's say, uh, a, a, you, you, you set a, a, an order at 9 Naira, but the current order, uh, the current price is at 10 Naira, okay? Then a sudden sharp, a sharp dump or dip down to 7 Naira. Yeah, it's possible that your order will feel partially. It is very fast. That means, let's say you want you, you place an order for nine era at uh, to buy a thousand tats. So, it's, if it's a very sharp dump, it might pick up twenty percent or thirty percent, depending on how sharp it is. But if it goes down gradually, then it will pick up all your order and be executed. All right, thank you so much for that, sir. Um, there is another question. Someone is saying, is there any way one can check the exchange rates before buying okay. or selling? Okay, I will, send, I will send it now to you, the, the link here now. Let me get it from other phone. I will okay. send the link now to you, so you can get it. All right, someone else is asking, that can we throw more light on uh, the analysis icon? Um, let me quickly check. Uh, what the person is talking about. Analysis icon. What analysis icon, Nico? Um, Babu, Babu, can you please um, elaborate so that he would know um, what he is going to answer? Is it possible for you to elaborate more on what the analysis icon is? Is it about this chart? Are you talking about the chart? Okay, Mr. Uh, I think it's, it's this, the analysis icon, this. Um, you see where my hand is right now. Okay, right, I'm brother. I'm checking there. Okay, it's yeah, about okay. the token analysis, yeah. Token metrics. Okay, analysis. By okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 
that one should be done with uh, high volume coins, which is uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum. Yeah, it can work for Tatcoin yeah. because it's so volatile. Yes, it's so, it's so, so volatile. That means uh, it's very difficult for someone to influence the Bitcoin market because it's, it's yeah. worth billions of dollars, market cap. But Tatcoin yeah. is very minimal. That's why I can see very sharp. So you can't use candlestick can to estimate uh, uh, the Kunana, uh, I say, yeah, the icon to estimate that coin price. Now, currently, that coin price is, uh, is gotten by the that coin people, the Tatas. So if you all put order at 9 Naira, it will surely dump. If you, put, if you put order at 10 Naira, it will surely go dump. So that is currently for now for that coin. But other coins, we can use that to estimate them because they are very high in their uh, market cap. I just dropped the link where you can get um, the uh, where you can get the exchange rate. Exchange yes. Rates. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just copy, copy that link and so paste much, it. Sir. That's yeah. um, amazing. Thanks, amazing. Thank you so much. Sir. Yeah. Okay, guys. Okay. Uh, we are closing up in the next two minutes. Um, do you have any question again? I think I'm going to just one question from the last person before we close this particular section of anyone can trade with Bitfinex. I hope you've all had your. Um, an amazing time today and um, we've all had a, a very pleasant um, section all thanks to Mr. David Zoe coming around to give us an amazing um, insight on different things. Um, so guys, um, I, I would want you to ask just one last question. Can one, all right, um, Mr. David Zoe, want, the last question is here. Someone is asking if you can use Tap Trader app to trade on, on BitFXT. Use Tap Trader app? Yeah. Um, like trading that to that app to trade on big FXT. Yeah, I think. All, I, okay. I think all trade app, all trade can be done on any exchange. Yes, all trade can be done, you but mean, depending on the API. kind of coins. Yes, an API. Like I'm not sure that they have that coin on such yet, so it can't work. But Bitcoin and Ethereum, I think yes, can work. Yeah, uh, see yeah. this uh, this market fees I dropped here. To know the Naira and dollar fees, please That's check BPY slash NGN. BPY slash NGN to get the Naira rates. BPY is a stable coin to $1. So check BPY to NGN to get the market rates. Okay, I can send 40K as bank transfer because I can't use my bank card here. And then you need to wait because we have working hours for that, which is um, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. So 4 p.m. Yeah, it's already that, after 4 p.m. right now. Yeah, wait till the next day. That is done manually. So I said, can you spot that wait? Get your friend's card and try that if, you can, if it is possible. All right, guys. Thank you so much for coming around today. This is where we're going to end today's section of Anyone Can Trade with FXD. It's really been an amazing time with each and every one of us here. We've had an amazing, amazing time. Please note that um, the recording for this particular training will be shared on our Telegram channel on um, telegram.com slash at bitfxt underscore niger I'm, I'm posting the link right now um put the link right now on um on the chat box so if you're not there already um please uh join us as soon as possible because um that group is on fire all right guys so this is where we are going to end tonight's section thank you all for coming around i'll see you guys the same time next week 4 p.m Friday, Wednesday and Friday. Thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate you. We love you and we cherish each and every one of you for coming around today. Uh, we'll see you the same time next week. And till then, remember, till we all win, we are all a work in progress. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you so much. Please, before you end the, the meeting, thank you so much. Okay. I want to say a very big thank you to Archie uh, Jams for inviting me to this webinar. Super grateful, sir. Thank you so much, sir. <laughs> And, You're um, welcome, sir. and also, uh, I've gotten some questions concerning the that coin BPY trading competition. Sorry, okay. uh, we need to ex and to, to change it because we that was why we put down the site for 24 hours, which was last two days. Yeah, so I think we want to change the pair to that coin Naira, but we give you more information on the trading competition. I think it might be next week or next week. All right, all right, thank you so much for that insight. That's amazing. So guys, more information will be Thank coming you. up on our Telegram channel. If you are not there already, please join the Telegram channel as we'll see you there. Do have a great day and bye-bye. Um,